The question I get asked the most is what do I think of a ketogenic diet? Well, I'm going to share my thoughts coming right up. Kidney Warriors, James here, your favorite kidney health coach, and we are going to talk about the extremely popular keto diet and what my thoughts are and should someone with kidney disease be considering it. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV and click the little bell icon. That way, every single time I upload a new video, you'll get a notification and be one of the first to get the latest and greatest. Now to today's topic, keto, also known as the ketogenic diet. First, let's take a look at what is a ketogenic, AKA keto diet. It is a high fat, moderate protein, very low carb diet. And there's actually a lot of different versions where you, you may have 70% fat, 75% fat, 80% of your diet is fat. There's a lot of different versions of it. But in general, I'm just gonna say keto to cover all of them. Now, why would you do a keto diet? Well, I'm gonna have to refer to my notes because there's so many reasons. Uh, first of all, rapid weight loss, and we're talking rapid. Uh, low inflammation, there's no more fatty liver. You're gonna get, start getting rid of fat and all these fat deposits that are all over your liver, you're gonna help reduce those. Your liver's been storing fat because you've been living your life feeding it so many carbs, so it's gonna improve your liver too. Also, it lowers your blood sugar and your insulin levels. As a matter of fact, there's a study, and let me get this right. In one study, 95.2% of the keto diet group were able to stop or reduce their diabetes medication compared to only 62% that were on a higher carb diet. That is quite an impact right there. Studies have also shown that eating a keto diet can help with heart disease, some cancers, Alzheimer's, epilepsy, Parkinson's, brain injury, and acne. And that right there is just a ton of reasons to start getting excited about keto. So the first question most people ask about it is, is it fat bad for you? Is, is it good to eat a high fat diet? Okay, so this is where a lot of dietitians have some conflict with each other. The data that says fat is bad, if you really take the time and you go through, and you start doing some digging to find out where we got that, you're gonna have to keep digging and digging and digging. Fat is bad for you came about a long time ago from studies that have since been shown that they may not have been exactly accurate. So I'm not on either side of the fence. Fat is good or fat is bad. I like to speak from my own personal experience when I talk about things in this channel. But there's not really a whole lot of hard, sound, scientific data showing that fat is bad. And we've just been taught, eat lots of carbs, power your body on carbs. Carbs are great for you, lots of sugar. And as you watch that, obesity has just been blooming and going crazy. Now, there are really two kinds of keto. There's a lot of different versions of it, you know, how your percentages are. But there's really just two kinds. Clean keto, which is much healthier. You know, it's more vegetables and fruits and things like that. You're picking uh, certain fats that are you know, better for you because there are some fats that really just are, there is data. There's some fats that are bad for you. And then there's dirty keto where you're eating tons of bacon and stuff like that. That one right there, most dietitians agree, you know, dirty keto is definitely not a good long-term diet to go on. 
and they lean more towards sticking with a clean keto diet. We're eating what we believe to be healthier fats and a lot more vegetables. So who should consider keto as a possible diet? Well, if you're overweight, if you've got diabetes, if you just want to improve your overall metabolic health, keto may be a good choice for you. Now, if you are an elite athlete or you're a bodybuilder just building up lots of muscle, arr, you're trying to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, keto probably isn't the right diet for you. Now, what about those of us with kidney disease? That's the big question you've been waiting for. So I asked the same question actually right after I was diagnosed while still in the ICU, stage five, GFR of 13, while doing some research, I found some mentions of a ketogenic diet being helpful for kidney disease patients. And there's a doctor online, Dr. Barry on YouTube. I've been following him since day one. I love his videos. I love his honesty and how he talks about how doctors don't always communicate enough. They don't always do their research. They're not always staying on top of the latest stuff. You've got kidney disease. You've ran into that same experience most likely. But I've been asking about it and all of my doctors and all the dietitians that I work with, they all tell me, hold off, let's get your kidney disease under control. Let's make sure that we you know, use a traditional diet and that we can regain uh, kidney function. And then when you get to stage three, if you make it there, we'll look at trying a ketogenic diet. Well, good news. I'm stage three, yay! And I've actually been on the ketogenic diet now for about two and a half weeks as of the filming of this video. Now don't take that as I'm saying yes, do it, okay? <clears throat> I like to talk from experience. When someone asks about fatigue and I talk about fatigue, you guys know I know what I'm talking about because I'm living it. So I can't just say keto's good or keto's bad for those with kidney disease. You know, only your doctor can really tell you if it may help you. I'm sharing my experience and I can't share it really until I've gone through the experience. Now here's the important things. Uh, ketogenic diet is a higher salt diet. I am using pink Himalayan salt. Hopefully you watch my video about which salt, you know, the difference between them and which salt I recommend people using. And I am keeping a very close eye on any water retention. Haven't had any. Keeping a very close eye on my blood pressure. I take it three times a day, plus I'm still continuing all my medications. I'm doing blood work often as I go through this process of <clears throat> teaching my body to no longer burn carbs for energy. I mean, there's three main sources, well, really there's two main sources, a third one, which we don't want to touch, for energy. Carbs, fat, and then the one you don't want to touch is protein. For decades, I've been eating carbs. Starting my day off with a bowl full of sugar, you know, cereal covered in sugar, milk full of sugar, pouring it over there and eating it. And my lunches, high carbs. My snacks, potato chips, high carbs. Dinner, again, a baked potato and other things that are all high carb. And dessert, it's just another color of carb. That's all it was, you know, cake, pies, ice cream, all sorts of stuff. I trained my body to use carbs for energy. And then it would start storing fat. I got big, I'm awful big. Um, now I am training my body by re restricting those carbs a very small amount. I'm training it to get the energy from fat. And in the beginning, there's a transition period that a person would go through. And I've gone through the transition period and it wasn't that bad. 
it was much easier to transition through the beginning of the keto diet than it was to get started with my renal diet where it felt like everything was a no-no. Now, there also are a few things I gotta keep an eye on. What I'm still watching for high phosphorus foods, not to eat those. I'm still not eating high uh, potassium foods. You know, there's, I'm still avoiding tomatoes. Um, luckily, a lot of the other foods that I avoid are just full of carbs, so it makes it actually really easy to avoid those. The transition from a renal diet to my ketogenic diet has actually been very, you know, very easy. Now let's talk about what I've experienced so far. Now I'm still, just let you guys know, I'm still at the very beginning of it. Um, but weight loss, oh my goodness, <laughs> so much weight falls off. Um, every morning when you get on the scale, you're just like, I actually had, I actually moved it around and I thought my scale's broken. Something went wrong on its electronic one. It sinks to the cloud. I bought a second one <laughs> and the same exact numbers. I could not believe it. Um, last night or this morning when I weighed was my lowest by a huge margin of weight loss. Um, I only lost 0.2 pounds, but um, uh, there's a little bit of constipation setting in right now. So I added some MCT oil to my lunch today and it'll take care of that later today. But I've had some amazing weight loss. My pants, I'm not gonna stand up and show you. There's so much space in them now, I can pull them away. I could easily go and get pants that are two inches sh smaller uh, and fit into those with no problem in just about two weeks right now. Um, so the weight loss is a definitely there. It, it's happening. Um, I feel really, really full. I'm eating my first meal usually around noon. I'm you know not eating early. I'm doing what's called intermittent fasting. I'm eating my first meal at noon. Um, I'm not making my meals to make sure I, I get it right. I'm actually using multiple food delivery services for this. So that everything is already taken care of and I'm not making any mistakes and I can measure everything as far as my progress grows. Um, but the meals are coming. Um, I enjoy them. There's a few things that I, you know, that are veggie that I don't personally care for, but I'm getting them down, I'm eating them, I'm sticking with it. I do you know, like what I'm finding so far on the keto diet as far as choices, but I am definitely full. And that's one of the cool things about the diet is you stay full. My um, energy level is really, really good. Um, and that just reminded me of my best part of this so far. Um, you know, I'm out there, I'm easily putting in two and a half miles a day. It's a slow jog that I do and I've got my energy there. I can tell if I'm not eating enough fat because I've tried, you know, some of the meals that will have something like I can't have that because of my, my kidneys and my renal diet. It's high potassium. So I'll avoid a few things and I can tell, oops, I'm not getting enough fat. So I purchased an oil called MCT oil that they recommend that you use and I add a little bit of that. It's one of those things that yeah, don't run out and try it, okay, unless you read everything about it and you watch the videos. Um, MCT oil, it uh, is something your body really doesn't process much and it just makes a shortcut straight to your intestine so that it can exit out as easy as possible. They, uh, they warn people that take MCT oil to never trust a fart. <laughs> I've not had that problem yet, but some people take too much of it and it is extremely effective. Um, but probably the biggest thing that I've experienced so far, and this is actually pretty amazing, and it's something I almost forgot about, is it's probably been about a week, a little over a week, maybe almost a week and a half, that I can't feel my kidneys. They don't hurt, you know, in, the, in my back. I, I used to be able to tell you exactly where they were. I could just point right to them on each side because I could feel them. Yeah, it felt like back pain, um, but I, I haven't had blood work recently. I mean, I've only been doing it two weeks. 
and I need I want to get some blood work right away to see where I'm at but definitely something has changed besides the rapid weight loss and getting healthier and having more energy but I do feel my kidneys are getting better everything else looks great I use these little strips that aren't as super accurate to test if I'm you know peeing ketones that's looking good I the last three nights now three days for the first time since oh like October I've slept through the night yeah I went to bed I fell asleep and I woke up there like this morning I was having some bizarre dream you know you suddenly have those dreams where you're working and you work through your dream um, I was working and all of a sudden I just woke up and I thought okay I gotta go to the restroom what time is it I was, I was expecting it to be like 1 30 a.m. 1 45 a.m. and it was 7 10 a.m. this morning just minutes before my alarm would go off so you know my kidneys I can't feel them they don't hurt you know that's a good thing I for three nights now I have slept through the night which is absolutely amazing as a matter of fact you guys uh, I'm gonna show you it is it's daytime right now I can't really show you <laughs> but it is daytime right now almost every other video I've ever done um, if you look at my eyes you can kind of tell I've been doing them in the middle of the night I may do them at 2 30 3 4 a.m. because I've been awake and can't get to sleep so I come into my office here and I will finish up the script print it out and turn on the lights turn on the camera and record it but I've been sleeping great so now can I recommend the keto diet I cannot right now I still cannot recommend it and even if it does work if I get great results and I see my GFR take a huge spike you still got to ask your doctor is it right for you and you got to be monitored while you're doing it you know making sure you don't have water retention because for me I went from having extremely little salt uh, there were days where I got less than a thousand milligrams of salt just because I'm got such an eye on not adding any salt because that's what my doctors told me to do in the beginning now I you know I'm tasting salt I'm using the Himalayan pink sea salt and so I'm keeping an eye on inflammation or water retention don't have any of that feeling great so I will post an update with the result and all of my blood work in mid June I know it's still you know almost a month and a half away as of the time I'm making this video you can wait you can hold on see what it's doing I'm the guinea pig okay guys I'm the one that's, that's going out there don't you do this unless you talk to your doctor and they say it's okay with you but I'll post my results and then I'll let you know my final thoughts on keto am I going to continue it and I'll also go to details how I modified it because it's not a straight keto diet there you know because you got kidney disease you still got to watch potassium uh, phosphorus and your other micronutrients so there have been some modifications not many it's actually pretty easy to do um, and I'll give you guys the results so if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube please subscribe youtube.com slash dadvice TV and click that little bell icon that way you get a notification and also you can join me on Facebook facebook.com slash dadvice TV if you have some questions you have comments send them my way and I'll give you my opinion now remember I'm not a doctor I can't diagnose things I can't give you treatment but I can say hey here's what I would ask my doctor about here's what I've been doing ask your doctor about it because well the important thing isn't that when you come to the internet and you watch these videos it isn't you're not learning exactly what to do you're learning what I've done that's worked great for me and hopefully it's helping you have deeper more meaningful and more productive conversations with your health care team whether it's your nephrologist your primary care physician your dietitian got to have great communication you got to push them ask them why ask them how keep asking more questions because that gives you better information and you are your best advocate for the best health 
for you. And while not everyone can improve their kidney function, it's worth giving it a try. I had physical, or I have physical kidney damage caused by a year of using Advil. I was told I have zero chance of getting better. I've blown way past that. That was stage five. Made it to stage four. Yeah, that's probably as far as you'll go. No, no. Other doctors of mine, keep going. We don't know how far you'll go. And that's the, the, the thing. Scientists do not know how much of your kidney function can you restore and exactly how to restore it. So I'm just working my way up that GFR ladder and you can too. It helps you feel great, gives you tons of energy, and you can live life like you never had any kidney problems, but only healthier. All right, thanks everybody. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.